Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Gliffy. Gliffy is an online diagramming tool that allows you to create flowcharts, network diagrams, and other visual representations of ideas and processes. Whether you're a business professional, a student, or just looking for a way to visualize your ideas, Gliffy can help. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of Gliffy, so please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Gliffy tutorial. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, click on the free trial button located at the top right side of the home page. This will take you to a sign up page where you will need to provide some basic information, including your first and last name, email address, and country of residence, among others. Once you have filled out the sign up form, click on the Start Gliffy for Free button to proceed. After completing the sign-up process, you will be taken to the Gliffy Editor, where you can start creating all types of diagrams with just a few clicks. Whether you need to create flowcharts, org charts, network diagrams, or any other type of visual representation, Gliffy provides a user-friendly interface that makes it easy to drag and drop shapes, connect them, and add text and images as needed. When you log into Gliffy or create a new diagram, you will be represented with an introductory window. This window provides a range of options to help you get started with your diagram, including preloaded shapes and templates. The light blue options that appear in the introductory window allow you to preload the shapes you need to create a new diagram from scratch. This can be a helpful option if you have a clear idea of the structure and content of your diagram and want to get started right away. In addition to the preloaded shapes, the introductory window also provides a selection of templates to choose from. These templates cover a range of diagram types, from flowcharts and org charts to network diagrams and more. By selecting one of these templates, you can get a head start on your diagram and save time by not having to build it from scratch. Once you have selected your preferred option from the introductory window, you will be directed to the Gliffy editor this is where all the tools and features you need to create your diagram are located. The editor is comprised of a drawing canvas, shapes, libraries, and a toolbar. The drawing canvas is the main area where you will create your Gliffy diagrams. This is where you can drag and drop shapes from a shape library or create new objects using the toolbar to customize your flowchart, diagram, schematic, wireframe, floor plan, or any other type of diagram you desire. When working with larger diagrams, you can use the bottom and side scroll bars to move around the canvas and navigate to different areas of your diagram. Additionally, you can hold down the space bar while clicking and dragging to pan around the canvas, allowing you to quickly and easily move to different areas of your diagram. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can also use this to navigate your diagram. Simply move the scroll wheel up or down to zoom in or out or hold down the scroll wheel to pan around the canvas. One of the key features of Gliffy is its wide range of shape libraries, which provide a variety of shapes and objects that you can use to build your diagrams. These libraries cover a range of categories including basic shapes, flowcharts, containers, and more. The shape libraries appear in a sidebar to the left of the editor, making it easy to access and select the shapes you need for your diagram. To add a shape to your diagram, simply drag and drop it from the library onto the drawing canvas. Depending on the type of diagram you start, different shape libraries will automatically load. For example, if you start a flowchart diagram, the flowchart shape library and other relevant libraries will be available for you to use. Using and customizing the shape libraries in Gliffy is a simple process that can greatly enhance the creation of your diagrams. There are a number of ways you can use the shape libraries, including searching for specific shapes and dragging and dropping shapes onto your diagram. To search for a specific shape in the libraries, you can use keywords to help locate it. In the search field, simply type in the keywords related to the shape you're looking for and press enter on your keyboard. The matching shapes will appear below the search field. From here, you can simply drag and drop the desired shape onto your diagram. 
adding a shape to your diagram is as easy as dragging and dropping it from the library onto the drawing canvas. Once you have the shape on your canvas, you can start typing to add text within the shape. If you need to quickly add more shapes, you can roll over a chevron outside a selected shape and select the next shape in the shape picker. However, it's important to note that you must be using a basic or flowchart shape library to use the shape picker. You can also hover your mouse over a shape to see a brief description. This can help you quickly identify the shape you need without having to search through the entire library. If you want to browse a specific shape library, you can click the name of the library to expand its contents. This will show you all of the available shapes within that library. If you need to collapse the library again, simply click the name again to close it. To quickly expand or collapse all of the visible shape libraries at once, you can use the Expand and Collapse buttons at the bottom of the Shape Libraries pane. This can save you time if you need to quickly view all of the shapes available to you. In addition, if you want to change the order in which the shape libraries appear, you can click and drag the symbol to the left of a library name to move it to a new position. This can be useful if you frequently use certain libraries and want them to appear closer to the top for easier access. To customize your Gliffy diagrams further, you can add or remove shape libraries from the sidebar. To remove a library, simply click on the X to the right of the library name. If you cannot find the shape library you need, you can add additional libraries to your editor. The Images library within the Basic and Flowchart category allows you to add your own images to your diagrams. To add shape libraries, click on More Shapes at the bottom of the Shape Libraries pane. The More Shapes window opens, displaying a list of categories and libraries. Click the arrow to the left of a category to expand it and view the libraries it contains. Click a library name to view the shapes it contains. Select the checkbox for libraries you want to add to your editor and click OK. The selected libraries will appear in the Shape Libraries pane. By adding or removing shape libraries, you can create a customized set of shapes and images to use in your diagrams, making the diagramming process even more efficient and effective. Furthermore, Gliffy allows users to add their own custom shape libraries that contain their own shapes, logos, and images, which is a great way to personalize diagrams. The process of adding a custom library is simple and straightforward. At the bottom of the Shape Libraries pane, click More Shapes and then click plus Add Custom Library at the top of the More Shapes window. In the Custom Library window that opens, give your library a name and choose whether to make it available to edit by everyone in your Confluence space or only for yourself. You can then drag the images you want to add from your computer to the window or browse for them on your computer. It's important to note that you can add JPG, PNG, GIF, and SVG files with SVG files being the recommended file type. Once you have added your images, click Save Library. Your new library will appear in the sidebar to the left of the editor and you can search, view, and use the library like any other built-in library. It's worth noting that you can add up to 30 images in a library and each image cannot exceed one megabyte in size. Additionally, SVG files cannot contain inline style sheets. Overall, the ability to add custom shape libraries is a powerful tool that allows users to create diagrams that are tailored to their specific needs and preferences. In addition to shapes libraries, the Gliffy editor provides a toolbar at the top that lets you select various tools to create lines, shapes, and text to format and manipulate them. One of the key tools available is lines and connectors, which allow you to draw lines between objects and connect them in your diagram. These tools are particularly useful when you already have other objects in your diagram. You can draw both lines and connectors the same way and format and move them once drawn. Connectors are especially helpful since they draw a line that is forced to turn at right angles when necessary. This makes it easier to connect shapes that are not in a direct line with one another. On the other hand, lines only draw perfectly straight lines, with no bends or corners. But you can still use them to link connection points on shapes if a straight line is appropriate for your diagram. 
This is particularly useful when creating flowcharts, network diagrams, or other types of diagrams that involve showing connections between different objects. The Gliffy editor provides a range of options for customizing lines and connectors, including changing their color, thickness, and style. Another way to work faster with Gliffy is to use the right-click or context menu to access commonly used commands. The options available in the menu depend on the object that you have selected. If no object is selected, you can choose the paste here, select all objects, zoom or view diagram source. If a single shape is selected and the mouse is over another shape, you have the option to cut, copy, paste, delete, lock selection, bring to front, or send to back, and more. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Gliffy. There are more things to learn about Gliffy, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for